Hi, good afternoon everyone. Um, just uh, We're here today to talk to you about Cisco and Cisco's British Innovation Gateway. So it's a slight tangent away from the music and uh, more about being a startup and uh, about tech uh, in the UK at the moment. Uh, my name's Andrew Green. I'm one of the uh, Cisco account directors and I'm also part of the British Innovation, Innovation Gateway program. Um, to give you a bit of context around what the Innovation Gateway is all about and also what we're here to talk about more importantly, which is the Cisco Big Awards. Uh, the Cisco British Innovation Gateway very quickly is a way that Cisco wants to be able to uh, drive innovation and entrepreneurship within the UK um, at the moment. And the, uh, one of the pinnacles of that is the Big Awards. So the Big Awards is basically it's a competition where you can win a $200,000 prize fund. Um, and that is a mix between cash, PR, mentoring, uh, legal, and also marketing advice as well. So just before we get cracking on that front, um, if at all you want to tweet during the presentation, please do. It's the Cisco hashtag big, or you can follow us under Cisco UK and I as well. So before I move into our presentation, has anyone actually heard of Cisco at all? Quite a lot. That's fantastic. Does anyone know what Cisco actually does? That's good. That's more than I normally get when I ask that question. Um, just to give a bit of context around uh, Cisco and around what we do, um, we were actually a startup only 28 years ago. Uh, we were founded in 1984 uh, by this, this couple here, so Sandy and, and Len. Uh, they were two um, uh, people who were working at the Stanford University. And one was working in the graduate business school, and one was working in the computer science school. They were dating at the time, and the story has it is that they couldn't communicate during the day uh, because the two uh, university campuses were on different networks. And they couldn't send their love letters and send their sweet nothings and arrange things for later in the afternoon because they couldn't talk to each other. So what they actually ended up doing is uh, getting together, putting their heads together, and created what is now known, I suppose, in the industry as a Cisco router. Um, and that was really the way that Cisco as a company started. Um, and the term Cisco obviously came from uh, San Francisco, which is where the company was founded. The key thing with Cisco is that innovation is something which we're really, really passionate about. Um, as you can see, right from the start, we saw there was a problem, um, and that then actually came through to changing, really, uh, the way that the industry communicated. And we continue to do that uh, in our day-to-day -day business now. Cisco has three key pillars when it comes to innovation. Uh, the first one is actually our own internal innovation, so our R&D department. Um, Cisco invests approximately about 10% of our annual revenues into our R&D, which is approximately about $5 billion. Um, and that's how we drive the industry and how we can drive um, innovation and moving the technology uh, industry forward. For the second pillar that we have is actually talking around the ecosystem. So we actually do a lot of partnerships. Um, we join a lot in a lot of partnerships. We have the Cisco Developer Network, um, where people can actually uh, tie in APIs into our products. And we also work with other industry organizations as well. And the third pillar, which um, is really one of the things that Cisco is renowned for, is actually we are a very strong company when it comes to acquisitions. To date, we have probably acquired about 150 companies um, over the course of the last 28 years. Um, and we are uh, acquiring companies at the rate in the moment of one per month. Um, so in the last six months, we've acquired at least six companies, circa, circa around about $8 billion worth of investment. So we're very keen and very strong on driving innovation. And that's really, I suppose, where the uh, Cisco Innovation Gateway is coming from, where we want to be able to engage Cisco as a large corporate organization, although only a very young corporate organization, um, with the startup community and the entrepreneurs in uh, the UK today. And that's really, I suppose, where the British Innovation Gateway comes from. Just to touch on that as well, it even comes from our CEO at the top, uh, the CEO of UK and I, um, Phil Smith, who is actually the chairman of the Technology and Strategy Board in the UK. And the TSB are doing a, a, a pitch and a presentation a little bit later on, so please do go and check out their uh, slide, uh, their, their presentation as well. But I'd like to hand over to Will just to spend a little bit more about what BIG is all about. Thanks, Andy. Hi, guys. Um, so, from why is Cisco here? Why are we talking to this audience at this event? It's because Cisco very much come full circle. We started as entrepreneurs, now a, a multi-billion pound company, and it's now time to come back to entrepreneurs. How is Cisco going to do that? Well, it's about supporting the startups, the tech startups of the future. And that program is called BIG. 
British Innovation Gateway, and that's really relevant for you guys here today. There are four key strands to BIG. First of all, innovation centers. So these are physical places, accelerators, where young tech startups get together, they work in the same space to leverage that expertise and improve the outcomes. There's already one of those, Ideal London, just across the way, and coming soon is a second one, the Olympic Park. The second phase is, or the second strand rather, is the MVIs, National Virtual Incubators. And this is a network of connections that go across the country, super fast connections, again, to join up entrepreneurs, technologists from across the country to share in collaboration and improve the outcomes. Thirdly, research, back to you, Andy. Thank you very much. So research, um, part of the NVI is actually we're going to be uh, connecting a number of uh, science research parks, um, but also the research element also includes Cisco's own R&D as well. So just across the way over at Mysa Passage, we have a research center there in com combination with the Royal Borough of Greenwich and also Ravensbourne College. Um, and part of that research is to investigate new ways of uh, using technology, whether that is uh, identifying and doing education around the IPv6, um, or if we're talking more around um, doing uh, lighting over Ethernet as a new way of delivering lighting services. Um, we're also very much engaged around some of the uh, regeneration projects which are happening around the UK, especially that which is happening in Glasgow. So the, I would say the pinnacle and really why we are here and we wanted to kind of share what we're doing, uh, what Cisco are doing in uh, the UK is actually the big awards. So I'll just hand you over to Will and he'll tell you a little bit more about what the Cisco Big Awards powered by iPrize is all about. So the big awards are Cisco's program to support and encourage technology entrepreneurs of the future. It's the second year. Last year was the launch and it was a really successful time. And uh, I guess the highlights from your perspective and mine as well is that uh, last year Cisco had around about 350 entrants to the prize. This year the target's 500 entrants. Uh, the prize, number one prize, is $200,000 worth mix of cash and support. And as well as the cash element, which of course is hugely attractive for anyone with a great tech idea, the support is equally valuable. It's a mentoring and expert program that will take an idea from startup through to successful company. It mixes things like legal advice, financial advice, marketing and PR and planning. It's absolutely incredible, and it has really high impact on young startup technology companies. The best example I can give is actually last, winner, last year's winner, uh, Jenny from Snap Fashion. And here is a very quick one minute video about Snap Fashion. <laughs> see Jenny in this month's Wired magazine. They had a great feature on her and Snap Fashion. Okay, a few of you. It was a fantastic article. 18 months ago, just 18 months ago, Jenny was a computer scientist in Bristol University, a student. As well as being a self-confessed geek, just like the founders of Cisco, she had a secret, a dark secret. She had a passion for fashion. And that was a bit of a problem for her because she never quite knew where to shop for clothes that she could afford. She wanted to be fashionable, but couldn't quite connect with that uh, passion of hers. So that was the problem. Her solution, her idea was, what about if there was a, a way of searching images for fashion, fashion items that she wanted to buy, and that could tell her where to buy them? 
So using her skills and her passion combined, she developed an algorithm to search for images and instantly return results of where she could buy those fashion items. That was her solution, and just about a year ago, she developed a prototype, an app, that she could take a snap image of anything she wanted from, the, from a website, from a magazine, in person. It would instantly return results of that item of fashion or that look and tell her where she could buy it at her budget. She entered the Cisco Big Awards with just four days to go, just before it closed. Uh, she didn't expect to win. Her product wasn't finished. But she entered anyway, and lo and behold, she beat off the competition with that idea. So how does that kind of fast forward to today? Well, actually, with Big and Cisco's help, they've helped develop the code, protect the IP, provided marketing expertise, PR expertise, legal accountancy, and planning. Jenny is now set for a multi-million pound Series A fundraising and international expansion. And that's the point that I made earlier, that yep, she received some financial investment, or reward rather, but actually just as valuable was the support network from Cisco and Cisco Partners. So just to touch on the people who came second and third in the competition as well. Um, firstly, Digital Shadows. They are a cybersecurity company, so very much more in the realm of what Cisco is uh, used to as an organization, what is really where we see um, uh, us as an organization. Um, and their product really was catching a really interesting market trend. With the increase of cyber security, uh, in, in, increase of cyber threats, um, such as what's happening with Sony and the RSA and a number of others which have hit the newspapers recently, but also the increase in social media, where people are using uh, social media, around about 55 to 60% of people use social media on a day-to-day -day basis just for their actual job, let alone what they do in their personal time. Uh, and what, so was, what the, uh, the interesting thing with uh, Digital Shadows is that they've now joined the Cisco uh, developer network, and now they're working in combination with Cisco to be able to integrate further into our products and also using our partner ecosystem to be able to take their product to market as well, which is an absolutely huge way um, Cisco are helping Digital Shadows to be able to scale their solution. And as with, uh, as with Digital Shadows, um, as with Snap Fashion, Digital Shadows are also due to go for a Series A funding, um, circa around about £2 million worth of funding in the next uh, six months as well. So it's a fantastic story to see how they're actually moving forward. And uh, the final was, is uh, the people who came third was um, uh, 6.3. They were doing a short video message service, so rather than using text messages, they can actually do a 63 second video. Um, the, the team came forward from uh, the likes of Nokia, um, the people who led up the BBC iPlayer program, um, and also from uh, PR agencies as well, to be able to come together to create 6.3. And they actually came third, and they obviously got a, a small cash injection as well as some advice as well. So. I'll hand over to Will. He'll talk a little bit more about the, the timings of the program and uh, the, the deadlines that we'll be looking at. So I'm not going to dwell too long on this. I've kind of mentioned it already. The Cisco Awards, big awards, are going on right now. The uh, deadline for initial submissions is the 21st of June. So that's the key date for your diary. Cisco are targeting around about 500 entries. So that's a really kind of small number in the scheme of things when you think what's on offer as a reward and prize. So I'd say to you, even if your idea isn't fully developed, just like Jenny's wasn't, even if you haven't got a, a kind of business ready to go, do enter before the 21st of June, because you never know, you might actually end up winning. Fantastic. So. If that has interested you, if you think that you would like to uh, be the next uh, Snap Fashion, um, but in your own product, then please do check out ciscobig.co.uk. And I'll have all the information on there around the Cisco Big Awards, the, the process, um, and basically what's up for grabs. Um, and obviously, if you follow the, the hashtag uh, Cisco Big, you'll find out the latest announcements are on, and also the Cisco UK and I Twitter handle as well. Uh, so without further ado, if you had any questions that you wanted to ask myself or Will around the process, around the big awards, around Cisco, then please, by all means, throw them forward. Can I start with a question, Andy? Uh, yes. Thank you. Um, what happens if I don't want or I haven't got a startup idea myself, but perhaps I might know people who do, friends of mine? 
But by all means, if, just because you haven't, please do tell your friends, family, if there's people who've got this uh, business idea. Um, if you follow us on Twitter, we do do a lot of uh, Twitter chatter around the big awards as well. And obviously under the Cisco Big um, hashtag, you can also hear more and please do um, you know, retweet so we can increase the amount of, uh, sort of visibility that uh, the Cisco Big Awards are getting. Terrific, any other questions? Okay, well, we're, we're around for the rest of the day. I'm around tomorrow as well. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for having us from both of us. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.